Ciao, my name is David, and today we're gonna film a video about Latvian facts. Despin is gonna ask me questions, and I'm gonna answer them. Okay, let's get started from something you really like, and it is Canada has faster internet than Latvia. No or yes? No, Latvia rocks for internet. So Latvia has one of the highest internet speeds in average, and it's 16.9 megabps. And Canada has only, well, not only. But 13.1 megabps internet speed. You could say megabytes for a second, it's okay. Mm, I don't know, I like megabps. Next question! Latvia has the biggest central market in Europe. Yes! Yes? Yeah, that's right. Riga? Yeah. Riga central market is the Europe's largest bazaar and it's 72 square meters. Thousands. <laughs> 72 square meters? <laughs> And it opened on the 30s and German and British people came all the way to buy butter, bacon and fish because it was the biggest market. Estonia has the tallest woman in Europe. No, Latvia has the tallest woman. That's true. How did you know that? Because it's known for the tallest woman. Estonia has the third tallest one, but Latvia is the first one and has the height, like the average height is 1.69.8. So pretty much 170 is the average height for a Latvian girl. Mm. And a typical Latvian woman is tall, slim, usually blonde, or dark blonde with blue eyes. Wow, that's typical. So, in Netherlands is a prison, untouched, and you use as a hotel uh, for full experience. In where? Netherlands. Well, there's one in Leopaya. Yeah? In Netherlands, they just have really nice prisons. So? Is it true? No, it's not true. Latvia has prison that's used as a hotel. True, in but Leopard. in Netherlands is also a hotel that is used as a prison. Well, I saw the picture. It looked like just a nice it's, prison. Yes, that's what it is. They turned 105 cells into 40 luxurious rooms, 131 to 211 years per night. How much is it here? 13. 13 per night? 12 actually. 12 to 13 depends. Oh, we should go... It's actually, they give you like 12 hours is the for startups and 24 hours is if you want to get the full experience of prison and food and whatever they give you. You're doing pretty good for now. My country, me know everything. Okay. In Latvia you can have a party in a secret Soviet bunker. A what? party. A secret Soviet bunker? You're gonna have a party. Can, can you go get pits? I can't pay it's emergency. Do you remember the question? Or should I make it again? I will make it again. Wait, what? Soviet bunker party. Right? You can in have Latvia you can have a party in a secret Soviet bunker. Yes or no? <laughs> Maybe. You have to say yes or no. Okay, uh, yes, because we have a lot of them. That's true. How did you know that? I saw it and I was like, what? You can literally have a party in a bunker it. that is nine meters in the ground and it was open on the 80s to um, As a for safety. No, <laughs> for safety for the people in care of a nu nuclear war. Uh, and it's a 2,000 square, 2000 square meters. It's a big one. And It'll you can have literally house. a party in there. Okay, Latvia doesn't have the biggest song festivals. Yes, it does. King and Dance Festival. You know how big they are? How many people attend in it? Like 1,000. 30,000 people. Singers, dancers and musicians. <laughs> I am a bit down at 1,000. And you know how many times they do it per year? Like, not per year, but... Once a year! No! Once every five years. They have the big one. The big festival is oh. once every... And the next one is gonna be 2023. We missed it. God damn it. But it was like, they call themselves nat Nation of Singers. We call themselves, oh, we call yourselves. ourselves Nation of Singers yes. and Dancers yeah. and Strippers. I mean, And dancers. all of that started on 1864. 1864. That's pretty old back. Damn. Yeah. Probably learned about it in history class, but never paid attention. Move on. Move on. Latvia has one of the oldest flags. You know that. I didn't know yes that. Yes or no? I did not know that. Yes or no? Yes. Did, did you know that it has an 
Yes, I guess. I hope. I know that a person died and that's why they made the flag, but... So does Vlad has one of the Yes. Not? Yeah? Yes. That's true. Vlad has, has the third oldest flag. Who's the first and second? First one is Scottish and second one is Austria. Austria? Yeah. Scottish. It's so Latvia has the third oldest flag in the world and the flag was first mentioned in 1280. Mm. So in the medieval time. They had their flag already. Dope. Yeah. That is old. I didn't think that's that old. Latvia was the first country making jeans. Yes, of course. True. We, I didn't know that. We invented jeans, we didn't just make them. No, actually it was an American guy that no, it was a Latvian guy. So, it was Jacob W. Griffin. Da Davis. Who? Davis. Davis. Davis? Davis? Davis. Yeah, Davis, okay. Jacob Davis. Jacob? Does he have first name Jacob, second name Davis? Yes. And last name? That's it. W in the between. And he was a tailor that grew up in Latvia. He, was, he wasn't born in Latvia, he grew up in Latvia. And he invented the jeans on 1871. And on 1873, uh, they did a part, like, became partner with the uh, Levi Strauss, the famous jeans now. Levi's was one of the first jean company. Yeah, it was the first company because Levi's took Jacob's jeans, Davis jeans, and then they became. Imagine partners. instead of Levi's, we could have jeans called Davis. Next one. Yeah. Germany has the widest waterfall in Europe. Nope, that's your La <laughs> That's Latvia in Daugava. Yeah. You know how many meters it is? 45? 270 meters long. 270 meters. And you know how deep it is? 1 meter? 180, 180 to 220. I can barely jump that in there. That depends also on how harsh the winter was and stuff. Oh, hit my ass. Latvia is about two times bigger than Switzerland. Yes. Switzerland is like that big. Yeah. Latvia is like that big. So, Switzerland is 41,272 square meters. Square kilometers, not meters. <laughs> That's a very tiny country. And Latvia is approximately 64,589. Approximately, because it's too hard to Yeah, of course. To walk. Switzerland is well, approximately. It's, but it's two times bigger. 30% of Latvia is covered in forests. Yep. No. <laughs> Damn! First one you're getting wrong! How many percent is it? Like 53. 70. 53. Oh. 53%. That was measured in 2015. Old statistics. Now it's probably like 21. It was close to 50, 54. And they chopped one tree down. And it yeah, well, it's not going to change that much. It's still going to be around 40, 50. Next one. Latvia has more than 12,000 rivers. Yes. Yes, it does. You're right. I have one next to my home. <laughs> so Latvia has 12,000 rivers, but only 17 of them are more than 100 kilometers long. By the way, Latvia has 531 kilometers of sandy beaches, like coastline. That's, that's a, lot a lot. Yeah. So Latvians, they love beer, and that's why they have a beer spa. No, I don't know about this, but they might have. Everyone loves beer here, so say it's like true. Yes, it is true. I did. I I really thought you're not gonna know that. Well, you didn't know that either. So everyone drinks beer here, like it's. They addiction. have they have literally spas. Like bathtubs full of beer. Next one, you probably know that. Latvia's national sport is football. No, it's hockey. <laughs> I knew you know that. It's not football. <laughs> barely play it. We play every sport actually. It's a country. Yeah, but hockey sports. was. Hockey is the biggest one. We don't. Dinamo <clears throat> Rigo. Yeah. And then we drink the beer in the spa and we watch Dinamo Rigo and they win Russia. Mm, final. We win the World Cup. That's dreams, of course. They have a liquor made out of 24 different plants. That's Riga's balsams, no? Yeah. I think it is. And they were using it in, like before they used it for coughing and for medicine, because it's pretty strong. Yeah, it was a cough medicine. Yeah, exactly. So, last question. Latvia doesn't have a Q on her alphabet. No, we don't. No. Because I know the alphabet, I don't went to school here, it's kind of... You weird. told me you don't know any alphabet. Yeah, I don't, but I know that there's no Q, we don't have any, we don't have Y either. Oh, do you don't have? Y. Why? Oh no, we do have... 
No, we don't have Y. You do have Y. No. No, you don't? No, we don't have Y. It's called Y in Latin. When I went to English school, I was saying Y to them. <laughs> and they would not understand me, and I was like, Y. Y. They would not understand me. It was so dumb. It was the most embarrassing moment ever. And the whole class was like, what the f is he on? Yeah. It's why. Why? You're pretty good. Makes sense, right? So you pretty much know your country good. Why would you teach in the English class a Latvian way of saying an English letter in an English class? So I go to the English class, actual one, <laughs> in the English school, and I use Y, and it's why. Why are you teaching this? So, is that all the questions? Yeah, that's it. I wanted to say one last thing. I wanted to say that Latvia has 20 hours of uh, light, daylight, in uh, midsummer. Is that a lot? I lost 24 hours. It's pretty much only 4 hours night, and that's not really night. Yeah, that's it. That's okay. the question. So, no. thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you like it. If you like it, you know what to do. You smash like, we're running out of time, it's blinking. Because we're on 25 minutes, and this camera is only 25 minutes max. So, if you like it, let us know what you think, and let us know which country you want again. And we will see you on the next video. Thank you, and bye. Turned off now.